Welcome back guys, got a Honda GL 1800, also known as a Gold Wing, behind me, it's coming for a clutch, looks like a bit of a challenging job, but uh, we can have a look at it, never done one, so you and I are going to go down this same journey together. So the clutch is right at the back of this engine, we've just taken um, the expansion tank off. There, it was tucked in between the frame and the clutch housing. So it's given us a little bit of room. I'm gonna start by draining the oil uh, and get rid of the oil filter uh, so it doesn't drip on our head once we've got the clutch cover off. So we're taking the O2 sensors off because they seem to be in the way of the, the back cover. I've got a horrible feeling this video is going to be very, very dark. I've got a head torch on now so we can see a bit more. But I'll do my best with the video in. Okay, we've got a little lead lamp. I've set it up to the, the ramp. You can see a bit better. Uh, O2 sensors are cracked off, so we'll wait till it cools down a bit because we have the bike running. And then we'll remove those sensors and then we'll start taking the, the bolts out the back. off my son's just going to operate the clutch from above so we can see what it's doing uh, as you can see it's pushing out towards me so it's, uh, so it's a push clutch it's very subtle but you can just see it moving okay so we've got this um, outer circlip so we're gonna turn the engine around so we can get the circlip um, holes at this end, get a circlip tool in there, re remove the circlip and start removing the clutch. Oh, there's two. Is there two? No, the, the other one's a spring clip. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, spring clip. Have you got the flathead? No, but I've got a smaller um, circle pass. Right, I get it there, and then I just need the flathead to... When you run up and push the, push the clutch, you should pop off. Amen. 
Yeah, just pressing the clutch, see if we can push this back cover off. You're nearly there, just one more. Okay, that's it. Okay, we've got the big um, 30 mil nuts or 32 mil nuts off the centre there. Um, it won't show how we're going to undo it because there's nothing to hold. So we held um, the clutch basket with my homemade tool. There was a shorts on that for my um, three minute tool video. Um, managed to hold it, no damage to it at all. Uh, undid the centre nuts. Now we're going to take the clutch uh, basket off and all the uh, clutch plates off one at a time, um, just lay it on the floor on a piece of cardboard. Um, it's going to go down in the order it comes out, so we know that everything we put back is in a similar order. So this is the entire clutch unit, so it's friction plates and the steel plates. We can see how um, black the friction plates are and even the steels. Uh, they normally come out reasonably shiny. Um, I did road test this and the clutch was slipping from third gear onwards. Uh, the minute you load the engine up uh, it would just run away. Um, um, I've got some replacement parts here, TRW, the high quality products, so I've got steels and friction plates, so we're going to take all this apart, clean the unit up, start putting the new friction plates in and put it back together. Okay, I've got the clutch plates soaking in the engine oil, it's the same oil that's going to go into the engine. Uh, whilst that's soaking for about an hour, we'll, um, we'll start taking this apart, clean it up, get it ready for the new...
Well, it's all back together. Um, as you can see, it's dark outside now, so we'll be on it for a few hours. Um, when watching these videos, you know, it'll be a 20 minute video and you think, oh, well, that's quite easy. But no, we've been on it for hours. There's two of us working, so we're halving the time. Uh, we've just got to get this down now, put the oil in it, run it up, make sure it's okay, and then go for a test drive. Thank you.